It's Christmas time. That time of year. Ah, oh, it's on. What's going on, guys? This is Burrs. I'm going to show you some of the top men's gifts this year for 2018. Now, you're shopping for a dude? It's pretty easy to do. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of cool things and some essential things that every single dude can use. And that's what we're going to talk about. So let's start on the low end as far as pricing goes. $8. Speak Shave Cream from Denmark. The really cool thing about this is it's only two and a half ounces. So you throw it in your toiletry bag if you travel for business or for pleasure or whatever you're traveling for, like I do. And you throw this in your bag, you're good to go. It gives, gives you a real nice, close, smooth shave. And the smell of it's really great. It's really close to a barbershop smell, not quite that smell. Uh, so if you're into that or your dude likes that, this is definitely something to try. And uh, it's a great stocking stuffer. Great stocking stuffer. I was gonna finish it a different way, but I didn't finish it that way, so it sounded kinda weird. I paused, sorry. So now let's move down there. Yes, down there. We're gonna talk about man care for down there. <laughs> this is a chassis, and it is a man's powder. And uh, you just rub all over your balls, and you're gonna stay dry all day long. And maybe not a lot of dudes use this, but I'll tell you what, it definitely makes a difference. I'm a runner, so when I go running, particularly in the summertime, I'm gonna throw this down there and you stay nice and dry. Uh, it smells great and it keeps you clean throughout the day. So uh, chassis man care for down there. You're looking at about 15 bucks. See, as you can see, I have a beard. If the man in your life has a beard, they're really gonna want to listen up or you're really gonna wanna listen up as far as this gift goes. I've been using this for months now and it's by Golden Beards, they're out of Denmark, which coincidentally is the shave cream as well. Maybe the stuff coming out of Denmark for personal hygiene is good, I don't know, but I know these two products work great. Um, like I said, the brush, and this is Golden Beards, and this is their Arctic flavor. I don't know if you're gonna eat it, I wouldn't suggest it, but um, <laughs> it's their Arctic uh, scent. It's more of a mint, um, peppermint kind of scent, which I like. And this is two ounces, so you can take it, um, put it, throw it in your toiletry bag and carry it on. Go through TSA, you're not gonna have a problem there. You're looking at about $15 for this one. For the beard balm, they also make beard oil. And that's something that every guy that has a beard should use. You really can get your beard dialed in. It's not gonna look all crazy. So if your guy's one of those guys that has a crazy beard that's out everywhere, this might be a good little kit to purchase for him. As far as the brush goes, I like this brush because it has some girth to it. Some of the brushes out there for beards are super tiny and I don't, I don't really understand them. They're plastic, they're crap, in my opinion. This one has a wood handle, good strong bristles to put that beard in place where you want to put it. And um, you, know, you can get a good handle, a good grasp on the handle, which you don't have. I mean, you're talking about a dude, man hands, right? So you gotta have something to grasp onto and the majority of brushes out there for beards don't have that. So this is about $15 as well. Links down below to everything. Now if the guy in your life travels a lot for business or pleasure or whatever reason they travel a lot, the one thing they probably are gonna look to have because they're not sure exactly where they're gonna be, where there's gonna be outlets for power to charge their iPhones, iPads, etc., is they're probably gonna want some sort of a power core. This is just a battery backup with uh, USB outlets on it. This is a power core by Anchor, and it's a 13,000 uh, mAh unit. And what that means is basically you're gonna get about 10 charges out of it uh, if you have like an iPhone 8, maybe up to 12. Um, I don't even have to think about this when I go on a trip. I just use it as I need to. I come back and I charge it up and there's still juice left in it. This is also an anchor uh, cable, it does not come with it. I like to get like a 10 foot cable, I throw it in my backpack, which is my carry-on, and uh, throw it in there, and then I can just leave this inside of the, the pack and just pull the cable out as I need to use it. So like I'm Skyping, or Skyping, I'm like fa FaceTiming back here with the family, I can just pull this out, plug it in and use it. Say all the outlets are used in the airport, I can just plug this in, use it, and keep uh, going with my iPhone. So I do like this a lot, this is 35 bucks, and you're looking at about 12 for this cable. Now one thing I think every guy should have is an oil lantern. 
And the one that I recommend, I recommend buying the best of everything just to get it out of the way. You don't want to buy five of something throughout your lifetime. You want to buy one item and have it be an heirloom item. I say this all the time on my channel. And the one I recommend is the uh, WT Kirkman. This is a little giant. They make other ones that are bigger. This is a little giant. You're looking at about 30 bucks for this one. Uh, maybe $40 depending on the time of year. It looks like they went up in price recently, but this one, uh, probably 30 to $40. These are hurricane lanterns, pretty much. And the cool thing about this is you can use these to get a little bit of heat. You can get a little reflectors to reflect the light down better. Throw these in some sort of a shed. Um, use these for reading at night instead of using like LED lights and fluorescent bulbs. You don't want to use those. Those will just zonk you out with the blue light, etc. So using something uh, like this with Aladdin lamp oil, which I'll put a link down below to all these, um, will give you that light that's not going to uh, keep you up at night. That's why they have blue light blocking glasses. So this right here is something that if you get it for your guy and they look at it and they're kind of like, why'd you get me that? Smack them around a little bit. Tell them it's going to be great for being prepared for natural disasters. And it's going to be great to, uh, you know, for the family. There's nothing better than, than breaking one of these out, putting it on the, you know, the ground, and just having the family gather around, tell stories, read some books to each other, and just getting back to, you know, the old ways a little bit is, is fun. And, uh, you know, using these is, uh, is a cool thing. So for 30 to 40 bucks, you can get this little giant. I think the bigger ones are running about 50. So uh, be prepared, get yourself a lantern. Searching for those deals. Where are those deals? Hmm. Oh yeah, they're in this video. Keep watching, tons of deals. And if your dude doesn't like an oil lantern, I might wanna trade him in. So why is the WT Kirkman the one I'm recommending? Well, number one, it has galvanized construction. It's gonna last longer, it's gonna last a lot longer than ones out there like Dietz and other ones that are painted. Uh, also, the globe, is pressed glass. It's almost the same thickness as a uh, ball canning jar, which are really thick if you if you use if you have used those. Whereas the other ones in the market are super thin, so they can break a lot easier. There's a lot of different reasons that this is the one to get. Just know that for 10 bucks more, maybe 15 dollars more, you're gonna get something that's gonna last a lifetime. So this one is an addition that came probably within the last four or five days, and I bought it because. I've been working out recently and doing you know active stuff. I work out uh, regularly, usually. <laughs> but um, the one thing I notice is my joints. They've been just terrorized the older I get. You know, I'm 36 now, um, and I'm just noticing. It isn't that I'm like walking around like, oh, I can't walk around. It's just something I'm noticing that I'm a little bit sore as the uh, the years go on. On it, joint oil. This is a tangerine dream flavor, which is kind of like a creamsicle. Uh, dream sickle, whatever you want to call it. This is something that I've taken, and I've only taken a half a dose, and I've noticed that my joints feel much better. And I'm throwing it on here because, you know, you can get probably two months out of this if you're doing like a half a dose like I am. If you're doing a full dose, um, you're going to get about a month out of it for 30. It's about a dollar a day if you're going to take it every single day, which I don't. Um, but this stuff, uh, this is fish oil, curcumin, borage oil and avavita. So that's what's in here. And it tastes like a dream sickle, amazingly. It's it's uh, flavored with xylitol, not uh, stevia. I don't think there's stevia in here. No, there's no stevia. Well, yeah, there is, last ingredient, stevia. Doesn't have that stevia taste though. So like I said, it tastes just like a dream sickle. Um, you know, this stuff's all good for you. And it's not just for joints, it's also for health because there's healthy fats in here. So uh, all together, this is uh, great. Emulsified joint oil. Check it out, it'll change your life. It sounds like an infomercial, but seriously, seriously, not an infomercial. This stuff works. Now my normal diet of what I eat is steak and some sort of a vegetable. Steak and salad, steak and green beans, steak and peas, something like that the majority of the week. That's what I do. It's real easy, come home, throw it in the, in the uh, cast iron, which we're gonna talk about, and uh, throw the uh, green beans in with some butter and some salt and pepper. Uh, nothing crazy, you know, just salt and pepper on steak. But 
A cast iron skillet is definitely something that's going to last forever. And getting an heirloom quality one, like this Stargazer cast iron, which is made in the USA, is definitely something I recommend. There's some key features with this one that I want to talk about. Number one, it has a handle right here and a handle right here. Amazing, right? No one else has that on the market. <laughs> the cool thing about this one is this does not heat up. I've noticed with other ones, when you're using them, this will heat up, this handle. For whatever reason, the Stargazer does not heat up, and I'm not sure why. Um, you know, it gets warm, but it doesn't get hot to where you can't touch it, where I've had other ones do that. Um, this is a 10 and a half version. You're looking at about 85 bucks. And, um, you know, it works really well. It's super duper smooth on the inside. I've been using coconut oil to, uh, to season it after I've used it. So I'll use it, I'll clean it, and I'll season it with some coconut oil, uh, just on low heat for maybe about 10 minutes. Um, turn the heat off, let it go. Just a nice, uh, thin coating of coconut oil. And that's what I do. And my steaks turn out great. I actually, you, what I'll do is I'll cook the steak in here. I'll uh, just uh, sear it real well on all sides. Then I'll throw this in the oven uh, at 425 for about eight minutes. Take it out and the steak's done. So I've used this for months now. And this thing is awesome. They also have a 12 inch version if you want to go up in size a little bit, which, uh, you know, bigger the better, right? So as I was preparing for this, my girlfriend's mom told me that I cannot have this video without having a knife on it, some sort of a knife. And I haven't purchased a new knife in the last year, year and a half, maybe even two years. Uh, I, just, I just have things that work for me, so I don't buy things or get things that you know just are gonna sit around just because I wanna have something. Uh, but what I will recommend is this gentleman's folder. This is by Zero Tolerance, made in the USA. This is their 0450, and it's a gentleman's folder. I use it almost every single day when I go to work. Granted, you can't carry it on a plane, but um, you know when I'm not traveling, I can use this. And it has a nice small blade. It's not crazy big. It's not crazy heavy. It's a uh, frame lock, made in the USA. You know, altogether, it's a really nice knife. It's gonna cost you a little bit of money. You might spend 100, 200 bucks on this, depending on the time of year, depending on whatever. I forget how much the price was when I got this because I got my bonus and I purchased it and I was like, this is my uh, treat to myself one year and I forget the price. But uh, I know I got it because I wanted a gentleman's folder. It's gonna last me for a lifetime. Zero tolerance knives made in the USA, gonna last a lifetime. And one thing that I have that I don't have on me right now, because it's at my girlfriend's house, <laughs> is my uh, toiletry bag, and this is by Osprey. Recently I purchased this probably about six months ago, and I really like it a lot. It fits everything I need in there. It'll fit my beard balm, my beard brush, my toothbrush, my um, toothpaste, my moisturizer, face wash, uh, and deodorant. It fits all that stuff in there comfortably. You can unfold it and it just hangs there. Uh, when you go to the hotel, you can just hang it there take the stuff out, do whatever you want to do. Super lightweight. Uh, I've actually had one thing leak inside of it. Didn't leak everywhere just because of the construction. Tons of different ways. Uh, also my uh, hair, hair crap. Uh, I can put that in the bag as well. Um, tons of different ways you can organize it. Uh, it works really well. And uh, like I said, it's lightweight, which works really well for me. So you have that, you have a little bit of moisturizer. I like Jack Black moisturizer and face wash. Um, these are under 3.4 ounces, which is a TSA limit. So you get, uh, get some stuff. That's why I was mentioning like the beard balm and the shave cream if you're gonna be out for an extended period of time. Me having a beard, I shave once a week for the most part. Um, so if I shave on a Sunday and I go on a business trip on Monday, I don't usually take shave stuff with me, but if I have to, I can do that. Uh, and all that stuff will fit in that travel toiletry bag by Osprey really well. You're looking at about $25 for the shave toiletry bag. Shave kit, no, it's not a shave kit. <laughs> the men's toiletry bag. Finally, you wanna celebrate the awesomeness you've done this year and you wanna go out and get some sort of a, uh, a spirit. <laughs> this is a uh, scotch and any man should have, or every man should have at least one scotch in their liquor cabinet, in my opinion, if they have a liquor cabinet. And this is Glenn Farkless. This is a 12 year aged scotch. And uh, well, minimum age, 12 years. Single malt from Scotland. That's why it's called scotch. 
This is by far, in my opinion, one of the most balanced scotches that are out there. It's not smoky and peaty. I'm not a huge fan of that at all. Um, so it's not gonna like bite you right in the ass. Um, it's, a, it's a nice balanced scotch. And like I said, I think every guy should have one in their liquor cabinet. I recommend this one. So go out and get this, celebrate whatever awesomeness you've done this year. Pop the cork on this bitch and say, let's do it again next year, but do it better. Now let's not forget the tactical guy out there. Everyone has them in their lives, including myself. And the one thing that you can get almost any guy who has an AR-15 and they're gonna love you is a P-Mag. Go out and buy windowed P-Mags for the dude in your life. It doesn't matter how many of these you buy, they will love you. Give you lots of kisses, hugs, smiles. This will bring joy to a man who owns an AR-15's life. Pretty cheap at around $14 to $16 each. Great stocking stuffers, as you can see, they fit right in there. So go buy them the best, the P-Mag. So that's my list for 2018 of the best and the top gifts you can get guys this year. As you know, if you watch my channel, I test and review stuff. So all this stuff I've used and I approve of it. And I guess my opinion means something, right? Possibly, maybe to some, maybe not to others, but to many. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. But uh, Go ahead and check the links down below. That's where everything's gonna be. If you're a dude watching this, go ahead and send this video out to you know someone and say there's some stuff that interests you and say, hey, check out this video. There's a few things on there that interest me. Um, and uh, you know, go from there. And hopefully this at least has given you some ideas for some stuff that maybe you want for this year. And uh, hopefully if you're uh, someone who's buying gifts for, for a dude in your life, this has given you some ideas as well. So. Links down below, and until next time, later.